This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk a little bit about Luger's big crowning moment. He finally becomes world champion, but it's when Ric Flair's not here. Of course, Ric Flair and Jim Hurd's feud came to a head. Flair walks out, takes the belt with him. So great American bash is going to be a bit of a change instead of it being Luger and Flair for the 900th time. Now it's Luger and Wyndham and uh, Luger gets the win in 12 minutes and 25 seconds. And we should mention he does so as a heel. He's got Harley race with him. Uh, he's got Mr. Hughes with him. The match is what it is, but fans that night were more concerned with, we want flair chance. It should be a tremendous event. Barry Windham. It's regarded this great American bash, uh, from 1991 in Baltimore as being one of the worst pay-per-view shows ever, but it's not necessarily like any of this is Lex's fault. Uh, the story that, that has maintained as you and I have told it today is Lex while he may not have been the best wrestler was not a political person was doing his job. was trying to get better and had a lot of stop and start booking some, some questionable creative and was never given the opportunity to be champ. And when he does, boy, it goes over like a turd to punch bowl. And again, not exactly his fault. It's a tough spot to be in for Lex. Unread, have you ever seen a turd in a punch bowl? No, but I know that uh, descriptor. I learned it in church <laughs> of all places. Did you really? Yeah. And then of course we all learned about it went over like a fart in church. Quincy. Oh yeah. yeah. Fart in church is one of my favorites. Yeah. Especially those wooden pews. Cause you may think you got a squeaker and then the audience finds oh, out something different. It reverberates. Yeah. I'll cross it that echoes place. throughout the, uh, the hallowed halls of, of our, our sanctuary. I learned the hard way, I guess in 92, 93. Yeah. Gotta get on you. Uh, oh yeah. Um, you know, again, it's just mumbled, fumbled, jumbled craziness, man. And we gotta, we gotta do our, we gotta do, do or get off the pot. And, you know, you just said a while ago, uh, about Luger finally wins the title, but he wins against Barry Wyndham, who we've espoused Barry's greatness. But to say that Barry was more over than Rick as the champion not would true. be a lie. Yeah. yeah. I think we can conclusively say that would not be true. So, so now Lex is finally the champion, but it's somewhat of a watered down version because nobody in the WCW past, present, whenever was more associated with the top championship than Ric Flair. But Lex didn't get that, that, uh, luxury. So, you know, it's, it's too bad. He, again, like I said, Luger's booking was far from ideal. And, and I've often said that if he had loved the business more, it probably would have come up. It might've been, it might've solved a problem because he'd have been the squeaky wheel does get greased more often than not, but that was not the case. He was getting paid a lot of money. And, uh, I think that was his primary motivator because how could you become emotionally invested in, in, in this weak ass, weaker and cat piss booking. And by the way, cat piss is weak. Mm, didn't know that weaker and cat piss. It's a new shirt at box of gimmicks.com. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so anyway, uh, I, I I think Luger that, that at some point was just kind of, let me finish out here as best I can before I get to work for Vince. Cause this, this journey has not been good. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.